Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome to kind of like my quiet space. Yeah, and I kind of love this place because it is peaceful and it's quiet and it's just a time for me to recalibrate. Uh, often that I felt that I'm stressful or you know that I have a lot of things on my mind, I'll come here to just let it go. Yeah, yeah, so I really found like a place to relax, to kind of just see the bigger picture here. And yeah, this journey has been fun uh, to just travel down um, a 10 km ride to Coney Island back and forth. And although the journey is a little bit longer, but I find that this is like the best way for me to just get out of work mode. <laughs> so, uh, in a way, actually, what I love doing at Coney Island is just to spend time with God yeah, and to really enjoy every moment uh, with Him, just being alone. And I just love being here, knowing that I'm close to some form of water. I don't know, this is a nice sea, Hongo. Yeah. And fun fact, uh, actually my parents stay here. My mom stays at some of the one of the Keelong, um, right here at Coney Island, while my dad stays further down at uh, one of the pig farms. And that is like quite a long time ago before Pongo is like developed but yeah it's great to be back here again uh, to just chill and relax there was one time that I remember like I would come here quite daily um, it was a time whereby I was just in my own business uh, and I had a lot of time so I would just come down here to kind of just relax unwind uh, think for the for the day ahead yeah so this is kind of like my morning routine and also like my evening wind down yeah yeah what else mm. Mm. i thought that maybe today i can share with you all some of the things that i've been thinking lately um actually i was thinking of more of like how i can really use what god have gifted me uh, to just do greater things for him because to be honest I'm just at this period of time whereby I'm just exploring my options and also understanding uh, where I can go further and, and one of it is actually videography which is to kind of just story tell not just in photos uh, because uh, I can take photos but I also want to learn videography and to be honest, videography was something that I was so afraid of doing it. Yeah, because I do not know what's the reason, but at one point of time, I was just thinking that videography is just too much to learn. Um, it's not easy to onboard straight away. Um, sometimes I felt my gear was limiting me. But no, actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just need to come out and just do a video and just step out of my comfort zone and in fact this is one of uh, the way if I'm doing a vlog right now means I'm actually stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm often more comfortable behind the camera so just growing to be more bolder to just trust in the things that I do often I limit myself by saying that I'm not capable or not worthy and I might have let opportunities like slip off me which I could have done it I think fear is one of the limiting factor of uh, my growth uh, and this year in 2024 I hope to look back and I kind of just encountered uh, God in that way that I overcome fear knowing that I spent time in His presence enough to love Him, to fear Him even yeah, that I don't just get caught up in my room because sometimes you know that uh, you have fear, you have negative thoughts, uh, you grow inwards and that is something that I fear too. I fear <laughs> being fearful yeah. and I know that there's a cost to it in the sense that the consequence is that I don't do it at all. 
or I don't do the things that God called me to do, then that's quite scary lah. This is my kind of like my peaceful place. I really encounter God a lot here. In in a way that I think like I was going through quite a lot of troubles. Uh, be in school, be at work, be in my relationship with people. I remember there was a time where, but I just failed all my subjects. I wasn't doing well. I my business was kind of failing. Yeah, I had a photography business. Uh, and at one point of time, I know that my relationship with people wasn't really good. Yeah, and my family. Yeah, my my grandma also was not feeling well. So there were a lot of factors that just came to a to a single point, and I know my mind space at that point of time was really crazy. It was just bad. It it is hard to share with people about it until. <laughs> one year later or two year later like this that I can tell it a little bit more comfortably right now yeah but still feeling it a little bit on the inside and the point is that actually because of where I can find peace like a place like here I'm able to just pour out all these thoughts to God and just know that God will always not give you up yeah and he'll make sure that things will come into place at his own time and i know that uh this is something that i don't just talk off uh in the midst of a trouble but it is something that i've encountered uh which all these things has happened the troubles and happened at least like one to two years ago and because right now i can have the revelation to know that actually it's it's really God's timing in some ways. It is God's way of growing me. Yeah, and I learned that through God, um, the peace and the presence is much more important. Yeah, and to just be beside Him, you know that all these troubles around you are just something like a moment, yeah, a season. That will challenge and grow you but through that i really grew and i learned to be more patient i learned to be more understanding i learned to be able to love people in a way that i do not need things in return and that is something that i love about his presence i know god is someone that will really be your best friend in a way anyway it's almost time to go so i will see you guys next time